Hello everyone, welcome again and today uh, I'm going to show you another demo of a JTUE application uh, that is Java project and it's uh, built into a JSPN servlet in Java using JSPN servlet. So, uh, okay, uh, before our demonstration, uh, let's check the uh, technical details about the application, the server detail and database thing. So the project name is IPL management system and this is a kind of management system that's going to manage the uh, IPL teams and IPL players. So uh, technically it's uh, following the MVC architecture. So you can see the bean package is there, controllers are there. That is going to be a uh, servlets, exception, models, utility. And after that we have a, a front end in HTML, CSS and JSP. And obviously in the, the JSP it's using the HTML things and the application is deployed over the tomcat server and to manage the backend database it's using mysql and connected by a jdbc so here is your database under your mysql workbench and this has a table like user team details players match schedule and match details and feedback okay now to run the application now if you are getting this project from code one and after that you need to follow this demo or to operate it in case uh, also uh, when you want to run it just make sure on the back end you have this mysql it's running uh, also if you're taking this project from code one don't worry about the configuration and setup our team remote team will be there to help you to set up the project at your machine and after configuration they will give you in this condition like the project will be like this in your id and the database will be like this in your mysql workbench now what you need to do just right click on the root folder in order to run the application go to run as run on server select the server as a tomcat click on next click on finish automatically the project will launch over your chrome browser and you can see this is the front page so here we have ipl management and this is a simple logo and the footer after that we have data here another like a uh, one module is match schedule list so whatever the schedule added by the admin will be displayed here uh, like user or end user can give a feedback like like this just enter the subject enter the data and the feedback is submitted for this team and you can see the newly added feedback here for this match and uh, we'll see one by one how we can add this data after that another module we have a player list so without login or sign up user can check the player list according to the team so currently these are the players available uh, with this team uh, let's suppose i want to check the player of the early chennai super king so I just select CSK and click on search. You can see the data is filtered accordingly. Similarly for other teams you can do like this. Uh, no record found for the Rajasthan oil. So just set the XYZ. So it will come. Currently the data is not available for the Rajasthan oil. That's why it's showing no record found. Okay. When you click on the reset, all the data will be displayed again. Uh, another model is feedback list. So whatever the feedback added by the user will display here. Uh, another option we have a sign in and sign up so new user can sign up into the application and another module is a sign in so basically in the user table we have two types of data two types of user the first is the admin and another is the end user first login as an admin and check what admin can do here so i just uh, copy this email as a username and enter it here and this is the password as a password i enter it here click on sign in after sign in of an admin admin can check the list of users that is going to register into the application also admin can search this users by their email id like this and again reset another option we have to edit the data like as an admin i can edit the data and the record is updated successfully and i can delete the data let's suppose i want to delete it the data is deleted now uh, another option we have a add team let's suppose we want to add a new team so let's suppose uh, the team name is abc on a name i'm just entering the random data the coach name captain name and choose the image means the logo of the team let's suppose i'm using this bank logo and click on save and Currently, I am just adding a dummy data. You can add the real time data uh, as per your requirement. So, I have added one team successfully. Now, team detail list under the team detail list section, I will check the newly added data here. 
the team name is ABC not also I can search the newly added data by this search option so when I click on by enter my team name and search here the data is filtered automatically another option we have delete any existing record so if I want to delete this record I just click on delete the data is deleted and now you can see only one bike logo now uh, the team team module is done after that we have an add module so as an admin i can add a new player let's suppose i want to add a new player under the csk so i just add a uh, like new player ms nationality india role as let's suppose captain dov and i just select this year from here and select any random date and click on save player details is added successfully now if i check the player list i can see new player here also i can search the player by its name so let's suppose i just enter player ms and i can reset the data and we can search the data also i can delete the data from here uh, if i want to delete any record okay now uh, we have player list here okay admin also can add a match schedule so let's suppose uh, our next uh, match schedule i'm going to add let's suppose 4 pm so i just select uh, 4 0, 0, 0 pm and okay 459 that's not a venue let's suppose mumbai and match date and uh, i'm going to add a next date uh, 29 somewhere and the match should be between Delhi Capital and Mumbai Indians. Yes. Okay, when I click on the submit, the data is submitted successfully. Also, it has a validation. Let's suppose I want to, uh, like, uh, if I am going to add a same date, uh, match with the same team. Let's suppose I'm going to enter the valid data, uh, some data here, match day, suppose 30. And I want to match with, with uh, team A as a CSK and team B as a CSK. When I submit, it says same team should not be select. So it's mandatory to select the different teams. Okay. And here I can check the schedule list, the data, the match that we recently scheduled. As an admin, I can de delete that schedule list as well. Also, I can add a match result. So let's suppose I need to enter a match. So I'm going to show you how can you add a match result over there like match is done and we need to add the result of our portal so you can see here we have a IDs so you can keep any unique ID if you're going to add any existing ID it will give an error like the ID is already available so I'm just adding a unique ID match venue empire match date and let's suppose the match is done in 27 and team a was a csk and let's suppose they scored 125 and then we the score 120 and the match detail is added successfully match win list now when i added this data here the result the data will be displayed here as a match id csk score the list score and the csk bin by five run okay and uh, also in the match result if i am going to repeat the same id again uh, let's suppose we have recently added one data with id d9005 so i'm going to repeat the same id it should be give me an error like the id is already available and so you can say match id is already exists so it means you need to enter a unique id always okay match winning list so under the winning list we have a search option to search by id so i just select this uh, id and enter the id i can filter the data i can search the data accordingly another option is log out after that what uh, admin can like uh, if you uh, view this de detail now you will see the newly scheduled match here and the player list the ms only that they have recently added for the csk and now if you filter data for the csk you will see two records over there and feedback list and sign in so now we are going to register as a user and going to sign in as a user so i just entered some dummy data here and for the password i just entered demo at the rate one two three days capital 
and select as Indian as a mail. So this is my user ID and the password is demo at the inventory. And currently this uh, field is hidden and when you click on this, it will automatically appear. When I click on the sign up, the user is signed up successfully. If I check the user table, uh, you can see the newly added data over there. And uh, when I click on the sign in button, I just enter the username as an email ID and the password is a demo at the red one to three. Click on the sign in and what I can see, I can see the team details list. Okay. And so here, uh, like a user can check the list of the teams over there that is available into the IPL. User can search here, user can see their list, user can see match list, but user cannot operate the delete operation and all, edit operation, feedback list, and a logout option. So it's all about the IPL management where we are adding the players, we are adding, managing the teams and displaying the match result. And uh, for the, like, uh, if you want this source code, you can contact us over the WhatsApp, over the mail. And don't worry about the configuration. We have multiple services. Like if you want to configuration, so we are providing the configuration at your machine by using any desk or Zoom. Uh, also, we have like explanation service. So if you are uh, facing any difficulty to understand the internal code, you can take the services as well. So just give an inquiry. I'll share the, all the details with you. Thank you.